Eddie Murphy. His full name is Edward Reagan Murphy. He was born on April 3rd, 1961. He is an American actor, comedian, writer, and singer. As of 2016, Murphy's films have grossed over $3.8 billion, $6.5 billion adjusted for inflation, in the United States and Canada box office, and over $6.7 billion worldwide. His zodiac sign is Aries. His height is 5 feet 10 inches, and his weight is 170 pounds. Murphy believes in God and was raised as a Baptist. He was born in Brooklyn, New York. If you're enjoying these videos, please remember to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And comment down below which celebrity you want to see in an upcoming video. Early Life He spent his early years in the projects of Bushwick with his father, Charles, a New York City police officer and amateur comedian, and his mother, Lillian, a telephone operator, and his brother, Charles. His parents divorced when he was three. Five years later, his father passed away, and his mother went into the hospital for an extended period. When Murphy was nine years old, his mother married Vernon Lynch, a foreman at Briar's Ice Cream Factory, and the family moved to the primarily African-American suburb of Roosevelt, Long Island. Murphy watched a lot of television growing up, and developed a great skill for impressions, doing such characters as Bugs Bunny, Bullwinkle, and Sylvester the Cat. Although he was never a dedicated student, Murphy found a great forum for his verbal agility in grade school, excelling in the popular game of ranking, trading witty insults with classmates. Hosting a talent show at the Roosevelt Youth Center at age 15, Murphy delighted his young audience with an impersonation of Al Green. This early success ignited a passion for showbiz, and Murphy began working on his comedy routines after school, and performing stand-up at local bars, clubs, and gong shows. Career Responding to the pleas of his mother, Murphy enrolled at Nassau Community College after high school and worked part-time as a shoe store clerk. He continued to perform in local clubs and eventually worked his way into such New York City venues as the comic strip, billing himself as a disciple of the great comedian Richard Pryor. When Murphy learned that the producers of the popular late-night comedy show Saturday Night Live were seeking a black cast member for the 1980-81 season, he jumped on the opportunity. He auditioned for the part six times, and finally earned a place as an extra on the show. Murphy appeared sporadically throughout the season, until one fateful night when producers realized they had four minutes of airtime remaining and no material. They pushed Murphy before the camera and told him to do his stand-up routine. His improvised performance was called Masterful by Rolling Stone, and Murphy became one of only two cast members asked to return for the next season. Murphy became Saturday Night Live's strongest comedic presence, creating such memorable characters as Mr. Robinson, an urban version of TV's Mr. Rogers, an older version of the Little Rascals character Buckwheat, and an illiterate convict and poet named Tyrone Green. He also continued his skillful impersonations, adding Bill Cosby, Muhammad Ali, James Brown, Jerry Lewis, and Stevie Wonder to his repertoire. In 1982, Murphy made his big screen debut in the film 48 Hours with Nick Nolte and proved to be a hit when it released in the Christmas season of 1982. Murphy's next film, Beverly Hills Cop, hit number 9 on the list of all-time box office hits. He played bad boy good cop Axel Foley, a role originally slated for Sylvester Stallone. His performance was a hit with fans and earned the actor a Golden Globe nomination. Murphy went on to make Beverly Hills Cop 2 in 1987, which received mixed reviews from critics, but major rewards from the box office. His other efforts of this period, including The Golden Child and his directorial debut Harlem Nights, were deemed failures by critics and audiences alike. A highlight of his career during this time was a romantic comedy Coming to America, co-starring Arsenio Hall. In the film, both Murphy and Hall were able to demonstrate their comedic versatility by playing multiple characters. Audiences loved Murphy's performances, grossing more than $128 million in the U.S. alone. In 1996, Murphy rediscovered his love for over-the-top comedic invention in a hit remake of the Jerry Lewis film The Nutty Professor. Murphy earned a Golden Globe nomination and an Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films award for his role in the film. Murphy went on to feature in a variety of family films. He provided the voice of Mushu the Lizard in Disney's animated picture Mulan to enormous critical praise and also starred alongside several animals in Dr. Doolittle. In 1999, he headlined the comedy Bowfinger with Steve Martin, who also wrote the screenplay. And the following year, Murphy played all six lead characters in The Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. In the summer of 2001, Murphy had two more big box office successes, 
starring in Dr. Doolittle 2, and lending his voice to the character of Donkey in the animated feature Shrek, also featuring the voices of Mike Myers and Cameron Diaz. In 2006, Murphy signed on for what was arguably his most demanding film to date, a screen adaptation of the Broadway musical Dreamgirls, featuring Jennifer Hudson. His performance as soul singer James Thunder Early earned him a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. The actor then quickly pivoted back to comedic roles for 2007's Norbit and Shrek the Third. In 2011, Murphy appeared in the comedy Tower Heist with Ben Stiller and Casey Affleck, and two years later, he starred in the poorly received A Thousand Words. Seemingly choosing his roles more carefully, Murphy returned to the big screen in 2016 as the mysterious titular character of Mr. Church. This drama also drew mostly negative reviews, though Murphy was praised for his performance. Three years later, he resurfaced for Dolomite Is My Name, based on the life of comedian Rudy Ray Moore, which was received very well. Relationships Murphy has ten children of his own. When he was married to Nicole Mitchell in the 1980s and 90s, the couple had five kids. Murphy has had five more children with his girlfriends, with his most recent child being born in 2016 to model Paige Butcher. Lifestyle His net worth is $200 million. Eddie has consistently been one of the highest paid actors in the world, routinely earning $20 million per movie. Over the years, Eddie has owned a number of extraordinary mansions. After buying his lot for $10 million in 2001, Eddie spent untold millions constructing a brand new 40,000 square foot mansion. The home has 32 rooms, 9 bedrooms, and 9 bathrooms. The property has a large pool, tennis courts, library, and bowling alley. If it were to hit the market, the house would easily fetch north of 30 to 40 million dollars. In 2007, Eddie paid 15 million for a 15 acre private island in the Bahamas called Rooster K. He previously owned a different private island called Pearl Island. He also has an impressive car collection. Fun Facts He doesn't read reviews. He was almost in Star Trek. He was awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor by the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. He was ranked number 10 on Comedy Central's list of the 100 greatest stand-ups of all time.